District 21 3A begins next week, and the two preseason favorites out of this bunch just might be on a collision course for one another. West Orange, Stark, and Silsby both have only played 4A teams in their first three games, and the Tigers took it one game further than the Stains, playing their fourth District 24A squad tonight. Silsby 2 and 1 on the season, hosting Livingston. Mark Henry and Curtis Buckley honored at halftime. We'll talk more about this in just a bit after we go through the highlights. Silsby's quarterback, Patrick Reed. It's 10 3 Tigers in the second quarter. He's sacked for a big loss by Brian Jackson. Next play, uh oh, Silsby's Reed sacked again, plus an intentional grounding would be called on him, and they would have to punt it away. Remember, it's a close game, just 10 3 Tigers on top. Livingston now. Shavosky Collins rolling right, finds Marquise Thomas, who turns it up the sidelines. Unfortunately, he is in the end zone. 37 yards he covers. That ties the game up at 10-10. We're getting for a close one here. Livingston, next possession. Collins throwing deep downfield to a wide open. Amphrey Wilson for a 70 or 47, excuse me, yard touchdown. And all of a sudden, Tigers trailing 16-10. And Silsby's quarterback, Patrick Reed, back to work with Davian Barnes for 18 yards there. Tick, tick, clock ticking down. Reed hits Jordan Holmes over the middle for 15 or more. Midfield trying to orchestrate something, trying to get in before the half. Reed running out of time. He's sacked by DeAndre Jackson. Next play. Patrick Reed looks, looks, looks. He doesn't find anyone. He's going to be sacked right there by, well, that's the sack right there. Reed in trouble again. He's going to go to the air, trying to make some plenty of time, trying to make something happen, but he finds a white jersey picked off by Damian Collins. Just one minute left in the first half here. Remember, this game's tied 10 to 10. Livingston would take over Collins. He's got plenty of time to throw, and he takes his time, scrambles out of the box a little bit, finds Thomas down the field, and he's going to get down to the seven-yard line. So Livingston Lions threatening Collins, finding Wilson over the middle. That's another six points. 24-10, Livingston led at that point on the ensuing kickoff here. Chris Elam, he gets it at the five-yard line. And he makes some nice cuts, avoids being taken down, some great blocking ahead of him, and then just his footwork does the rest. 95 yards, what a way to end the half. 24-17 at the half. Tigers st still trail, but they came out in the second half. Let's take a look at the final of this one. And it's Silsby that gets the win. 43-32. to Tigers with a big second half. Congrats to Coach McGallion and his team as they get the victory, their fourth straight win over a 4A team. Now, earlier today, the Tigers inducted two new members to their Wall of Honor, WWF superstar Mark Henry, a 1990 Silsby graduate, and a 1989 grad and former NFL cornerback Curtis Buckley. Henry joined the World Wrestling Federation in 96, became WWF heavyweight champion in 2011. Buckley was signed by Tampa Bay in 1993. He also made the NFL stops in San Francisco and with the New York Giants. Curtis retired from the NFL in 2000 and became a mentor to children in a mental health hospital near Dallas. Both inductees honored by being recognized by their high school. It's a great deal to come back in your hometown and have everybody welcome you into a new walk of life, the Hall of Fame, the Wall of Fame. That's what Silver produced, greatness. And we still have a lot of other guys that is waiting to get into this elite group. But Silver is great producing athletes. I mean, it's the world to me. You know, you always want to be respected and loved at home. And this, this is home for me. I mean, I, I love the fact that every time I, I'm announced on wrestling, um, they say I'm from Silsby, Texas. Mark Henry. And uh, I know people leave their small, little bit of towns, and they never mention them or never think about them, but that, that's never my intention, uh, and, and it was never a practice.